this video, I'm going to focus on these trees that I have right here. Now, these are thundercloud plum, flowering plum, and eastern redbud. So, two things I want to point out with these trees, and you can see behind me, there's a gap between the trees and the fence. Now, my neighbor has a pool. It would be very unneighborly of me to put these trees right up against the fence because then all half half this tree litter is going to land on his pool. So I do have a small gap. Now this gap isn't going to last forever, but at least for the time being it'll be there. And my debris will hopefully stay on my side of the fence and I can take care of it. Also, if I have to do work on the tree, I have room to set up a ladder and get up into the tree. Now this... Camellia. Is it Camellia? I think it's Camellia. Uh, you can see it's already growing over the fence. Now it's evergreen, doesn't shed leaves as much, but it's gonna flower, it's gonna dump a lot of stuff over there. And that's the kind of thing I wanna avoid. And if you see here where that's planted, that's only three feet. And these trees here, you can see the gap is much bigger. It's more like three and a half feet, four feet. Actually more like four feet from the fence on these two. So that's something to keep in mind when you're dealing with neighbors on these small properties. You can't get a pin oak and put it back there and then have it not be an issue with your neighbors. Now you can see my neighbor also has see that? solar panels. So if I put a pin oak there, for example, uh, within the next 10 years, it would be an issue for them because those solar panels are facing south and I would be in front of them. So my tree would be casting a shadow on their solar panels and that's just not not right once again this is mike from mab landworks thank you for watching see you next time